Hey guys, today I'm going to show us how I made my own Iron Man hat reactor. It's so beautiful, you know. You're going to love it. I also added some extra features at the back. Do you want to know what this outlet pipe is for? I'm going to reveal it during the course of this video. So stick through. Before I was able to build this arc reactor, I went through a series of research. I watched many videos on YouTube, which were very very cool, but they were not up to my expectation. Now, apart from the beauty, this arc reactor can also produce what we call brown gas or HHO, which is the combination of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And you know this combination is very explosive. Now, this gas can be later on fed into other parts of the Iron Man suit for other purposes and that's what makes it unique. So I got the casing of this project from a 220 volt LED bulb. Then I dismantled it and removed the bulb components. For the ring where the blue light is, I took some empty pen cases and cut out the two ends. By heating them up in the fire, I was able to bend them into semicircles which I joined to form a complete circle. I then used a black electrical tape to section the circle into 8 segments and wrap a few tons of coil on each segment to give it the perfect beauty. For the light, I used 8 blue LEDs and punctured holes on the ring where the bulbs will fit in. Then for the core of the arc reactor, I used two bulbs connected in parallel. Now we come to the second phase of this project, which is the brown gas producer. We are going to be using what is called the electrolysis of water, which is simply the splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen just by passing current through it. I needed some space at the back, so I had to cut out this metal sheet by bending them. By taking out this middle portion, we are left with a circular storage for the water. I used two carbon rods gotten from two 1.5 volt batteries as my electrodes for the electrolysis. Lastly, I puncture the hole on top for the exit of the brown gas and for refilling the tank with water. Connecting all positive to positive and negative to negative, I finished the connections and added a switch. I also added a 330 ohms resistor to the bulbs to prevent damaging.
Now, our arc reactor is completed. Using a 9 volt battery as my power supply, I poured some water into the water tank and got it running. Wow, this is awesome. Like this, this just looks great, man. And it's kind of portable, you know. We should also have our electrolysis running behind. Actually, the glue I used affected the transparent plastic. It's now hard to see the tiny bubbles coming out. However, in one of my previous videos on how to make a hydrogen bomb, I demonstrated electrolysis. There you can see these tiny bubbles coming out. Those are the hydrogen and oxygen gases. And the resulting brown gas was really explosive. And just a similar thing is what is going on right here. And here is the exit. But wait, what's the usefulness of this brown gas? Ground gas is known to be very explosive and so it can be fed into other parts of the Iron Man suit such as the repulsor blaster and the flying boot and in my upcoming videos I'll be showing us how to make all of these things so hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out of this upcoming video so guys what are you waiting for? go build your own or if you can't build yours you can buy your own arc reactor kit on Amazon and other online stores for just under $60 I'll post the link in the description below. Go check it out. So guys, honestly, I really love this project. If you do, why not give a thumbs up and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.